Hello and welcome to the second episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the Bison, a Russian SMG which feeds from a high capacity helical magazine located parallel to the barrel. The Bison's damage is relatively high compared to its peers, although its effective range is short. You'll kill in three shots to the body up close, or two where one is a headshot. This quickly drops off at a middle range however, and outside of close quarters you might find that you'll need up to six shots to kill instead. Rate of fire is good, streets ahead of any weapon outside of the SMG category, and bested only by the CBJ MS within. 937 rounds per minute will provide a lightning quick time to kill in close quarter gunfights, and will allow you to rapidly saturate an area with bullets, simply by firing from the hip. Hipfire performance is very good, as with all the SMGs. Unaimed fire will prove a very effective tactic in close quarters battle. Recoil is moderately heavy, with the weapon pulling upwards and to the right under sustained fire. Coupled with the lower range damage, tackling distant targets is an act of folly. You should seek to flee from gunfights outside your comfort zone. Aim time is rapid, at just 200 milliseconds, and your movement speed is quick too at 100% of the base speed. Magazine capacity is above average for the SMG class at 36 rounds, or 54 with extended mags. Faster fire rates mean more frequent reloads however, and at 3 seconds flat it does pay to keep an eye on your remaining count. Building a class with a Bison revolves around tooling up the close quarters combat. It is what the SMGs were designed for, and with the right loadout, you can turn the bees on into a bullet hose. Rapid fire is a great way to specialize in close quarters combat. While you will need more reloads, and you'll find the weapon is tougher to wrangle while aiming, the sheer increase of lead on target will do much to swing close range firefights in your favor. This higher output will mean a distinct advantage up close, and far more effective hip fire to boot. Adding the muzzle break will slightly enhance your range too and with a steep drop off towards a middle distance, you should see the benefit relatively often. Naturally you should avoid tackling foes outside your effective range, but every once in a while you won't have a choice. For your perks, steady aim is a very worthy choice for any spray and pray build, enhancing the SMG's already potent hipfire to awesome heights. Pair this with ready up to mitigate the risks of sprinting near your opponent. While you should ideally always be ready to fire, sometimes eagerness might get the better of you, and faster recovery means you can start landing shots sooner. For objective game modes, Marathon can be a good pairing as well, permitting faster coverage of larger maps to arrive at critical objectives sooner. Sprinting everywhere can be reckless, but with practice, mobility perks can prove decisive through good positioning. Beyond this, you can invest in your preferred handling or stealth perks. Taking a secondary weapon to fall back on can be useful if you're ever caught with an empty magazine. The Bison is a good all-round SMG, mobile, rapid handling, and devastating in close quarters combat. Few weapons can match its rate of fire, and paired with excellent hipfire performance and a sizable magazine, it's the perfect spray and pray weapon. Slower firing guns simply won't stand a chance up close, and you have the reactive ability to tackle any enemy you might encounter unexpectedly. Of course, such close quarter specialization comes at the cost of ranged performance, and it doesn't take much distance between you and your opponent before your damage drops and your odds of survival diminish. The trick to using SMGs effectively is to force short range engagements. If you find yourself in the open taking fire from a distant enemy, it's likely you won't emerge the victor. Still, this is part of the trade-off you make with a specialized weapon, and if you take care in navigating the maps and avoid open areas with long sightlines, you'll find you can stack the odds in your favor. Buffalo your opposition into the Bison sights, grab the ball by the horns, and thin out the herd. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time, when I'll be covering the SA-805. Until then, farewell.